Was I an accident? Have you ever been arrested? Have you ever done drugs? What is your body count? Boobs or bum? <laughs> Caught out. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be asking my dad questions you're too afraid to ask yours. And they're awkward questions, so let's get straight into it. First question is, was I an accident? No, definitely not. I was planned. You were planned, definitely. Have you ever been arrested? Oh, I knew you'd ask me that. No, I definitely have never been arrested. <laughs> yes, I've been arrested. You naughty, naughty. You like this next one then. Have you ever done drugs? Who's going to be watching this? Um... <laughs> 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 yeah, I used to smoke weed, yeah, started at, I had my first spliff when I was 14. We went down the graveyard, strangely enough, and uh, yeah, I remember him saying, don't take too much. You know, if you think nothing's happened after a draw or two, don't take too much, because um, otherwise it kicks in and you've had too much. So, uh, yeah, 14. Did it one lunchtime out of school. Went to a phone box and rolled up a spliff there, and so mainly weed. Smoked quite a lot of weed. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Sorry. There you go then. Um, <laughs> what is your body count? My body. What does that mean? How many people you slept with? Oh, <laughs> I can't tell you that. Less than twenty. Less than twenty. More than fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> boobs or bum? Boobs. Related to the first question, where was I conceived? Probably nowhere too exciting, just in the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> what would you say to your younger self? Wow, that's a question, isn't it? What would I say to my younger self? It'll be all right in the end. Yeah, I might want to say that. Just keep plugging away, really. And just keep trying. Keep trying. Whatever goes on, whatever happens, just keep plugging away, keep trying. Keep trying to work it all out, keep trying to make it happen. I'm still doing it now. What would your reaction be if I became a dad now? <sighs> well, I suppose, honestly, I'd quite like it. I feel quite ready to be a granddad. <laughs> uh, so in one way, I'd quite like it. But in another way, I'd be concerned. Because you ain't got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, obviously that's a big impact on your life. That means you've got to, you know, you've got to think about earning your, you should, if you're going to take your responsibilities properly, you, you would need to be staying at home and yeah, helping your girlfriend out and, you know, being a proper dad. So that would really curb your lifestyle, that would curb any chance of you getting out and about much and like travelling or whatever you might want to do, you know, it's going to... That curvy lifestyle a lot, but yeah, in some ways I'd kind of like it as well. Yeah, it'd be kind of nice. Helicopter interrupted. Air ambulance. Come on. Right, do you prefer a girl with makeup or without makeup? Uh, I don't like loads of makeup. Probably a little bit of makeup it's to no a, makeup. More of a natural look. Yeah, definitely more with the natural thing, yeah. But sometimes a little bit is is alright. But why why should women have to wear makeup? You know? I mean we don't do much, do we? Yeah. I just think it's a little bit it's going a bit far, isn't it? It's like it's, it's almost like the woman's gotta work hard to look really pretty for the men or something. Doesn't seem quite right somehow. I prefer it yeah, the natural thing, yeah. Have you ever cheated? Yeah, but not for a very, very long time. Never cheated on your mum in any way at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going way back to when I was like, well, you know, 20, 21, 22. Did she find out? Uh, I actually, I didn't have any contact with her for years and years and years. And then we had contact on Facebook, I think, and I told her. What did she say? I confessed. Um, she asked why. 
So I said it was because she always felt a bit distant. Um, like she'd always got something else in mind, always going somewhere else, doing something else. So opportunity came up and I took it. Have you ever used a dating app? Yes. <laughs> when? Well. Because they weren't around when you were younger. <laughs> so no. That means recent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caught out. <laughs> Yeah. Who are you on a dating app now? Might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, They're a bit hard work. I don't don't really like them that much, to be fair. All right, I've got a question for you regarding that. If you saw a girl you found attractive, or a woman you found attractive on an app, how would you message her? Uh, I'd probably just say something simple. Hi, how you doing? How's your day going? Or you not compliment them straight away? Um, yeah, I might do. Yeah, I might say something like, yeah, something about, but not not so much about the way they look, you know what I mean? Just might be something about whatever they're interested in or... Yeah. Yeah. What were you like in school? Oh, which, which bit of school? Primary school or secondary? Uh, secondary. Secondary was where it all went a bit wrong. So, um, primary school, I was uh, quite clever, actually. Um, I actually got moved up a year, a whole year. Um, but, yeah, I didn't find that very easy. But basically, I th my memory is, obviously it's a long time ago, but that I did all right at primary school. But then when I got to secondary school, it all really started to not go well then. I think I was all right to start with. I've seen some of my exercise books and um, they were quite good. Uh, you know, neat and like I was still interested in the work. But then uh, just having like difficult kids around, I, find I found it hard to deal with. And I think I asked my dad about them. I said, I don't know how to deal with all the kind of difficult, aggressive kids and that, you know. And I think he said something like, well, it's better to have them as friends. So that's what I started doing. I started hanging out with them, and uh, yeah, I just like I was more interested in trying to stay on top of things in that way rather than doing the work. So then the work just fell away. I just lost interest. I got into music, and punk was around at the time, and skinhead, two tone, all that stuff. So I got into all of that, going to see the bands. I was in the pubs from fourteen, drinking. I mean, the nights when I was supposed to be. <coughs> revising for my exams, mocks and the actual exams, I was in the pub drinking. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it didn't go well. Were you ever a player? Ah, uh, not really. A kind of little bit, but not overly. Um, probably tried to be, but wasn't that good at it. <laughs> yeah. What matters more, face or body? Well, in a woman? Yeah. Face or body? Um, probably, probably face actually. Yeah. What's the first thing you notice in a girl? Kind of the same as the last one, but well, that's tricky, isn't it? It's, uh, it can be various things. It can be figure, clothes, face, hair. But but it's lots of things stand out, don't they? Different things yeah. stand out in different people. Yeah. So. Um, it might just it can be any of those things just catches your eye, or just their personality as well. You know, it can be all sorts of things. <laughs> oh God, I don't want to ask this one. Um, <laughs> have you ever sent nudes? Oh God, <laughs> <laughs> might have done. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that's These not... are awkward questions, aren't they? I'm gonna hope that's not recent, like. <laughs> If I had a girlfriend and you found out I was cheating, what would you do? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be very pleased with that. But would you tell her? Was I tell her? I think I'd have a talk to you and say, what do you think, what, what's going on? 
you know, especially I, if she was really nice, if you'd been with her for a while and she was kind of in with the family and we all really liked her, yeah, then I'd be really bothered. I don't, I don't know whether, oh, oh, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel very happy about letting her carry on without knowing that. That'd feel really deceitful. So if I, if you had a word with me and I carried on doing it, then you'd probably, yeah, I'd definitely tell, tell her then, yeah, yeah. At what age did you have your first kiss? Oh, first kiss. God, definitely primary school. Um, Karen, it might have been. She was my girlfriend for a little while. We used to kiss a lot, yeah. Uh oh, I think I'm gonna barf. I second that. What, like full on snog? No, not oh. a tonguey snog, no. <laughs> Just uh, on the lips. When and stay there for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> when was your first snog? First snog? Can't remember that at all. I remember finding out about French kissing. Um, but I can't remember who I had a, my first Frenchie with. I can't remember. If you were to move to a lady, like say if you saw a woman in public and you were going to move to her, how would you do it? Oh, God. <laughs> well, I just don't do that, to be fair. Um... Yeah, God, I wouldn't have a clue. I don't do it. I just don't do it. What did you want first, a boy or girl? I didn't want either. All we wanted was for for the kid, for our kids to be healthy. That was all we were interested in. Didn't matter what sex we were, we weren't interested. But I really felt like I knew. Every single time, I felt like I knew it's a girl. Second time, I knew it was a boy. Third time knew it was a girl obviously it's 50 50 so i don't know what you can make of that but i felt really certain about what sex each one was and i was right so i don't know what you know what does that mean probably nothing probably coincidence but i don't know it felt it's like you know it on a different level somehow that's what it felt like but that can be your imagination can't it final one is was your first time a good time or bad time oh god first time of what having sex oh, I know. <laughs> Um, first I can't really remember first time but I can remember the first girlfriend and you know the first trials at it I think it was not great I wouldn't have said no it was all a bit probably a bit awkward and <laughs> not really sure what you're doing and that kind of thing you know and worrying about my mum and dad coming in or her mum and dad coming in and so no probably wasn't wasn't the best no Right, how old were you when you lost your virginity? 17. And that is the end of the questions. Oof, thanks. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. A like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bless. <laughs> <laughs>